Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. What'd you watch, Tom? Joe, I watched a movie about the first black serial killer to wear a mask. Ted Bundy. No. The Zodiac's killer. No. How do you know? Well, <laughs> I definitely worked on a movie where it was a black killer wearing a mask. And I made the mask. <laughs> Hackley Axe Murderer. Anyways, they get around that by uh, setting this in the 90s. The movie's called Fun with Hackley, for anybody oh, that wants to look it up. My bad. But anyway, he worked on it. I didn't. I just <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this has uh, Tony Todd as a horror host. Fun with Hackley doesn't have Tony Todd. No, it doesn't. But well, uh, what's this one called? Come on, man. Oh, this this one is named after uh, the first black killer to wear a mask, Joe. And his name is Bitch Ass. Bitch Ass. <laughs> <laughs> is this the name of the movie? Also, the name of the killer. Oh, points for the title. <laughs> so you know that name strikes fear into the hearts of many of many of victims. So uh, Tony Todd's like the Black Sven and he's just like, we've showed you things like tales from the hood and people under the stairs and Candyman. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And now we have bitch ass. He puts a fucking VHS in a fucking old school TV and we watch uh, bitch ass. It's uh, about a kid who gets caught up with the wrong crowd mm. and they're going out to uh, rob a house ah, that uh, the lady supposedly currently died in. Unfortunately, this house is inhabited by bitch ass. Why do they call him bitch ass, Joe? Because he's a bitch ass? <laughs> because he's a fucking bitch ass. <laughs> <All right. laughs> when he was a high school kid, he was a... Uh, uh, you know, he was what people in the 90s would call him. You know what I'm saying, Joe? They would mm -hmm. call him not so... Not so nice words. Words that are much a lot less nicer than bitch ass. So uh, he loves games. He lives with his grandmama Johnson and they just play games. And when he gets out of line with anything, she'll burn the shit out of him with a lighter or whatever she can find because he's an old bitch ass. Uh, the kids at the school don't like him because, well, he's a bitch ass. So uh, he has the uh, hots for one of the bully's girlfriends, surprisingly. And uh, the bully has the girlfriend help him set him up so they can rough up bitch ass. But, I mean, they just cut the fucking shit out of him with razor blades. <laughs> <laughs> they do it like really old school. Yeah, fucking. bullying used to be at a whole different level. You know, just saying shit about somebody online. That ain't nothing compared to what people like bitch ass had to deal with. That's right. So uh, They used to call him, well, we can't say that. <laughs> There's certain words you can't say, especially if you want to be monetized. You know, there's a six-letter word in particular. You don't want to say <laughs> on youtube but go ahead tom tell us more about this bitch ass so uh bitch ass turned into a bitch ass man i guess and he lives in this house wearing a fancy suit and a not so good mask it looks like a uh like a robin mask that was like stepped on and got cut up a little bit it just looks like a you know a beat up robin mask like he's ready to be in a fucking eyes wide open fuck party or some shit. Not a very scary mask for a killer, but it's bitch ass. 
So what does it fucking matter? Uh, and bitch ass gives you a chance. He just doesn't kill you, Joe. He plays a deadly game with you. <laughs> and if you win, then I guess you can go away. But no one wins. What kind of deadly games do they play, Joe? So he's a sporting man. He is. Say, which is another <laughs> word for bitch ass or, or whatever, you know. But oh, what so, kind of games does he play? Let's see, probably like Parcheesi. No. However, huh? you're not far off. There's a deadly version of Operation. Or if you touch the sides, you're hooked up to a car battery or some shit. And then there's a deadly game of Connect Four where you have to stick your limbs through the holes. And there's a fucking whatever guillotine blade. Guillotine, at the top. very good. Yes. And then uh, what else is there? There's a deadly game of Jenga where when you move the wrong fucking things, you get hung a little bit more, which was questionable imagery for a black horror movie. And, uh, you know, things like that. It had some, uh, what's the word I want to use? Imaginative and, uh, you know, like trying shit, editing and framing and stuff like that. It wasn't bad, but the motherfucking killer's name is Bitch Ass and he fucking sucks. He looks stupid, and you can't take it seriously because his goddamn name's bitch ass. A comment from the chat that leads me to this question: Did anybody warn bitch ass that masks are dangerous? <laughs> you know, because he cuts off your visibility, and that he should do better with makeup. I, it was, you know, what like I said, it's one of those Robin fucking masks, so it's not like anything. Any of your fucking visibilities fucked like up. Like the TV the Robin or the comic yes. Robin. Just that, you know, that stupid thing like you'd wear to a fuck party to pretend yeah. people don't know who you are. Yeah, it, it wasn't good. They could, if they would have changed the look of this guy and made him fucking not so much of a goddamned bitch ass, <laughs> maybe, but uh, you know, they want you to take it seriously. And you did. Nah. nah. I mean, it's all right. It's worth a watch. And you said this is based on a semi-true story? <laughs> this is the story of my life. <laughs> Only the bitch-ass part. I'm not black for the audio <laughs> listeners. <laughs> I am Italian, so some would say. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I would say uh, check it out if you're into slasher movies. It's not, like, laughably bad or anything like that. It's an okay movie, but uh, the fucking name of the character and the look, really. Oh, uh, fuck. And he does the spooky voice. Fuck. And if he could get rid of that shit, too, just... I don't know how he could not talk. He'd be like a fucking, like a... <laughs> you do this when he's trying to... What kind of kill count does he have in this movie? Uh, I mean, there's a few. Some of the stuff's okay, but there's not a whole lot. Like, if there was more gore and they worked on bitch ass all around, maybe named him, like, fucking bitch slicer or some shit. But, <laughs> yeah. Only if you're a hardcore slasher fan would I uh, recommend this because it is just okay. But it could have been pretty fucking cool and memorable. <sighs> Bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs>